then I just spiked the Bayou when he was at the, for 15. And then I just couldn't like draw like three more mana, like three more mana sources just to keep going. You should have land granted first. I, oh, sorry, I can. <laughs> <laughs> so are you out? I am dead, and I dropped. Didn't want to stay for top 16. Colosso is whining, not winning. <laughs> <laughs> God, I remember when I had so many in tombs too. Should have kept them, dude. Yeah, then they banned them, and they were like three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and then they unbanned them, another fifty dollars. What happened? <laughs> That's what happens. Look, it's ridiculous. You should know that one day they'll be unbanned, and then there's going to be a million. So I bought up a lot of uh, Flash for the one tournament. Flash Hulk was Did you rampant. Sell yep. Picked up a ton of it, like a quarter. <laughs> I sold them for fifteen to twenty. Yep. <laughs> and luckily, they were banned immediately after. That was my goodbye. So now um, we're just waiting around, looking for things to talk about. I know we could try to maybe I could try to set up a deck tech somewhere. I don't know whose deck. What deck? John Penix is pretty spicy. I wanted to play that today, but I couldn't find lower retainer. Anytime. You can see if Scott um, Bielek is still around. Yeah, he had a Lurin, so maybe we could look, look at that. Look at his Lurin deck. Featured him earlier, so. We'll start. What's that? We're, we're hoping that the Mike Burnett match goes to three, and then we can move him over. Find, or find John Pennick. His deck was sick. What's his record? He's X1. You got someone over there you. Probably still playing. Yeah, yeah, we have the judge waiting. We have a judge waiting to let us know. Dick is such, you see it? That's like a main deck long one just for the Murfolk decks. Yeah, I saw. That's real good against uh, Progenitus, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't cast them. You six, oh, yeah, I guess you, you can. You just pick I mean, four and play it. Well, no, I'm saying it doesn't stop you from natural order and Progenitus into play. No, but yeah, you put it into play, and you're like, no, get another not. natural order. Or find it's two of bra- each no. color <laughs> and try to put it in play. Yeah, brainstorm and then natural order. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Is that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're unsure if Burnett's winning or not. Do we have any information on the Burnett match? I'll be right. I'll be right back and get some information on it. I can just ask. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's the game count on that match? Oh, it looks like Rashad's is uh, Rashad's able to contact Walk them. Walk talking it. Who's Burnett? So right now you're Michael Burnett, Burnett, Burnett is a Chicago local. How's he doing? Who, uh, what's the game? Uh, he's undefeated. Jeez. He's playing land still. Yeah. He won a PTQ in Japan. I remember that when he went to the Grand Prix, he didn't make day two and then won that PTQ. How's <laughs> a good feeling doing that? Like? Okay, so apparently they're still in the first game. Jeez. Oh. What's the match it is Lance still. What's the match meant Lance still as well? Oh, because never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm gonna go see what it what it is. All right, Rashad. Apparently, go. Still in the, I thought they were in game two. Jeez. There's uh, Tommy K walking by. How's he doing? He doesn't Tommy K. He doesn't. Three talk. and one. <laughs> How about he do his dredge deck? That one's a spicer. Three one with dredge. With force of will and brainstorm. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Maybe you should deck check him. Well, we normally get someone in the feature match area, but. We didn't want to do Merfolk, and we didn't want to look at everyone's Belcher list. No, we should have. Dredge deck? Yeah, we'll probably get him, if we get him in the feature area first. We should have probably got either a, a Lurin or a Postgaze deck, since not everyone has seen those lists. TK's list looks so good. What's that? TK's list? I saw, yeah, I saw him playing. Like I just saw him around. playing yesterday, and then he was like, he cast Brainstorm in turn one. And then, like, careful study on turn two. And I was like, so he's playing the anime with that. And there's pictures like Golgari Grape Troll and Sticker of like, what's going on? And then the guy's like, gonna force his dread return. He goes, force back. And like, my mind was blown. <laughs> the Force of Will Dredge deck. I'm telling you, it's just a master.
We're ready. So if anyone uh, has any requests out there, uh, we'll try to get that going. Rashad's coming back with an update. It is game one, it looks like, because Rashad, uh, eyebrow rose. It's game one still. <laughs> What's the matchup? Lance over sweat. It's um, nap still. Nap still? Nap still. Nap still. I guess it could be nap still, since Brass Nats playing it. But it's, <laughs> it's John Nap's dick that he's been playing for five years. She's a Chicago guy. Versus Goblins. Goblin. I'm assuming Goblins and, is not and, winning. And, and Burnett definitely has um, <laughs> Scepter with um, Source of Plowshare. Okay. So, I'm like, how is Goblins? If, but Goblins can't be winning if the match is still going on. No, and they're not 20, winning. 20 minutes left in the round. And 16, him for with Maya. Yeah. And then just so, uh, I, I can reload. <laughs> Burnett's, Burnett's just Take a grinding it up. All right, so we're definitely going to get that you match did, over for games yeah, two and three. Last round's pretty easy, right? Until then, um, we can talk. We can we can just imagine how goblins is somehow still playing this game. This yeah, so I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear the last one. It was Matt Matt still versus what? Goblins. Oh geez, it should be fair for goblins. Traditionally, Goblins is pretty good for Slam The still. creator, no, John Knapp, no. says it's not It's, not, it's, it's very not good land for still. It's the Scepter Chant deck with Oh, it's land a Scepter still. Chant deck. Yeah, yeah the Scepter Chant and Land Still combination. And it's like a Fire Ices and Swords. And chant. Yeah, and Chant. Because, so. like, Land Still used to be able to be grinded out by, like, Siege Gang. Like, Aetherall is really good for some honestly. You just grind out Siege Gang and Matrix. And yeah, you, you, just get, you just get Sword with something. Sword, fire, ice. And post board, he has uh, blue elemental blast. So sword with blue elemental blast. I mean, I so, played. So, <laughs> I, I played this deck in uh, GP Chicago, and I didn't lose any goblins. Like I played goblins twice, and it was just not close. Did you day two, GP Chicago? No, I but lost, he did. I lost playing for day two. Day two, yeah, the standard, pretty normal. I did as well. My first four fetch lands were stifled. I sold the that underground happened, that, that happened to me in, um, in <laughs> That's what I did. Once. I didn't even play. Oh, really? It was so depressing. It was just three. It was three in a row. Stifle, stifle, stifle. Didn't cast a spell. Maybe a chrome mine. I'm sure that guy had a lot of fun. So, uh, <laughs> everyone's questioning John Nap what Nap still is. <laughs> it's apparently the best deck ever. It's pretty, I mean, it's solid. I probably wouldn't play it again. The only reason I played it I was gonna play forty three land, and I played it. I played it in two trials, and everyone had like four relic, four Tormat script, and I was just disgusted. <laughs> like, I'm like, no, not playing this deck. And we already had like an extra copy of his deck built, so I just played it. Jeez. I mean, it's solid. I liked it. I had fun playing it, and I never felt like I was not in a game. It's one of those decks. You know, it's got force yeah. wheels, boost spells. You're not always dead to in, anything. Yeah, you're, you're, you're always in the game, but I don't really like playing those decks. I like... You like going all four, in? Four, four cards? Uh, or 443 land. Fair enough. But, you know, I have fun. feel like Actually, you're doing something solid. unfair. Like lost, <laughs> yeah, I lost the Canadian Threshold playing for top eight. I really don't I mean, like tomorrow I have for a day two. It definitely is a 101 deck. I 101 yes. my way to that day one. It's so true. You like win Ride the first game. You win the first game. It takes you 30 minutes. But they're never, they never. They squeak it out. The game too. They always think they're still in the game. Yeah. But they're never in the game. And yeah. they just lose. And then like the second game, you could win. But. They peel out? No, you just. Draw. You just like, oh, I'll just grind it out some more. And you're never in the game. And you just win. You don't take any chances and just grind it out. The next when when is Orlando? Two weeks, right? Yep. Yep. I think I'm going. You going? Yeah. Because we're gonna be there. <laughs> That's partially why I'm gonna go. Yep. March 27th to 28th. They can't see you anymore now. They're gonna see me. Oh, that's a good thing. And isn't a little, it? and a little monster down petting. What is that? That that is a um. What what pitch, what card is that? Oh, that is a Woodbriar Elemental. The that's, kicker guy? That's a Woodbriar Elemental? Yeah, and you're penning it. I am, because he's awesome. <laughs> <laughs>
It almost looks like I'm petting you because your hat's up there. But 